Good day everyone. My name is Emmanuel Ampoan from BSF TV. So I'm the reporter of this week. So my take and my our topic is all about Revised Fisheries Administrative Order Number 60 or Pau 60 approved in June 29, 1960. Subject is the relegate regulation governing the issue ones of fish pond permits and or lease or public forest lands. My topic is from Pau 60 Section 19 to 36 because the Section 1 to 18 wa is topic of Miss Aguansa. Next, Section 19 Additional charges for default in payment of annual rental for permits or leases. Failure to pay the annual annual rental shall be subject to permitty and to an additional charge based on the amount of the rental. And according to the following schedule, from February 1 to March 1, 10%, April 1 to June 30, 15%, July 1 to September 30, 20%, October 1 to December 1, 25%, and after one year is 40%. Next is section 20, refund of the rentals paid during the year of, during, ah? The fund of the rental paid during the year of the permit or lease is cancelled due to no fault of the permittee or lease and or the, for the fail, failure of occupy and use the land covered. There be for ne- no reasons acceptable to the director or the secretary as the case may be refunded, provided that the government shall not suffer damage by reason thereof. Section 20A is certification of the commissioner of fisheries for each for each certification issued as to the sus- suitability or fitness swaps for fish pans purpose payment is 20 pesos as amended by pound number pound number ordered 71 approved in December 3 1963 next is about the bans section 21 before any permit or lease is issued or g- granted the applicant shall as guarantee of the good faith in filling his application for satisfactory compliance with the fisheries law and the rules of regulations therefore there under promulgate and with the terms condition of the permit or less lease shall be required to deposit commissioner as cash bond at the rate fixed in the following section section 22 is schedule of bond the bond deposit required For fish pan permit lease shall be 10 pesos per hectare or fraction thereof provided that if the end of five years the permit of or lease shall have introduced improvements accordance with this order and has satisfactorily complied with all requirements of the laws rules regulations and the terms and condition of the permit or lease the director or the secretary as the case may be reduced bond to 5 pesos per hectare or fraction thereof and after 10 years waived entirely section 23 is about forfeit forfeiture of bond the director of the secretary may confiscate or forfeit the bond or part thereof in favor or the government for any following reasons violation of and or failure to, fil- to fulfill of any terms conditions and requirements under which the permit or lease issued or granted violation of any provision of the fisheries laws or the rules of regulation under under promulgated next is cancellation of the lease section 24 refund or transfer of bond deposit should it be justified any deposit bond any bond deposit or any residue or fire thereof may be refunded upon the request of the permittee, the assigns, heirs, or administrators, and upon the sub- submittal of the original receptor thereof. In case of loss of said receipt, an affidavit showing the circumstance of such loss may be submitted in layo thereof. Layo thereof. With such request for the refund or transfer of any bond, bond deposit, or part of thereof, to any hair, the administrator or guardian, the appointment or the designation of the same as such by the court, by the other, by the other hairs, 
as the case may be shall be submitted. Section 25. Waiver waiver as about waiver of rentals and bond deposits. In case the, the applicant, government, agency, or semi-public entity, the director or the secretary, as the case may be, may waive, may waive the collection of the rentals and bond deposit. Next is section 26 about the expiration, renewal, or extension date of expiration of permit or lease. A permit, permit or lease may be renewed or extended subject to the same terms and condition of the original per permit or lease. B. A permit or lease may be renewed upon the expiration of the term granted there, therein for another period not exceeding that for which the original was issued or granted. C. A permit or lease may be extended even before the expiration of the term thereof should be there justifiable reasons to do so. D. The permit or lease covering an area that has been reclassified into a alienable and disposable land of public domain in duly awarded by the Director of Lands under the provision of the public and land law shall be automatically considered terminated on the date that is con the corresponding award is issued. Section 27 is all about collection and appropriation. Collection and appropriation. All revenues occurring to the national government paid and are collected in accordance with the provision of this order shall be accredited in accordance with the provision of Section 65 and 66 of Act No. 4003 as amended. Next is Section 28 about General Provisions. General, general conditions under which permits or lease are issued. Every permit, or every permit or lease shall government by the shall govern by the provision of this order as well as by those which may hereafter by be issued or promulgated, especially by the following terms and conditions: power of Congress or permit of or lease shall comply with the law, rules, and the regulations; legal status of land. No, tat no title acquired, adjudication of area in damage, interference with prior claimant prohibited, statements in applicant application as part of condition of permit or lease, surface right, exclusive privileges, sanitary condition of buildings and premises, right of cutting timber, timber by forestry licenses, free access to area, public roads, free navigations, survey, corner and boundary lines, disposition of improvements. Next is section 29 about duties of permittees and leases. Leases. Duties of permittees and leases. Every permittee or lease shall be governed by the laws and regulation governing fisheries more especially by the following first is to take precaution as may be necessary to prevent to public forest <clears throat> b is to assume or accept responsibility for any injury to public forest covered by the permit <clears throat> or lease which may be caused by the operation of the area by the actuation of the representative or employees of the permittee or lease c is to submit the, to the director in the prescribed form, a yearly report of the catch or fish within the first 30 days, the following year for which the report is made, and to submit such other st statements on the operation as may be required from time to time. The, to report to the director or to authorities concerned any, pers any, any, any person found hunting, trapping, fishing with explosive, or poisonous substances and committing any illegal or unlawful acts within adjoining the area covered by the permit or lease. Next is to keep records of transactions, connections with the permit or lease may be required. Next is to permit at any time duly authorized representative of the, se of the secretary or director. 
Next is to vacate the area covered by the permit or lease upon ex its exp expiration or cancellation. Next is about next is section 30 about suspenso, suspension or cancellation. The, the application permit or lease may be suspended or cancelled for any of the following reasons. First is serious or continued violations of the fisheries and or forestry laws. The, ro the rules and the regulations promulgated un there under under or any of the terms and conditions of their permit or lease. Next is repudiation or abandonment of the area granted. Next is lack of interest or voluntary request by the permittee or lease. Next is when public inter interest so required. Next is failure to refusal to pay without justifiable cost of the peace, bond, deposits, rentals, or additional charges in accordance with the uh, provision of this order without prejudice to any action which government may take recover amount the due. The cancellation of the permit for any of the causes mentioned in subjections A, B, and E thereof shall carry with a forfeiture of the bond in favor of the government. Next is section 31. Termination of the lease upon debt or permit or lease. The permit or lease, lease shall terminate upon the debt of the permit or lease. However, a new permit or lease upon application within 90 days from the date debt of the permit of the permit or lease may be issued or granted to the heirs or assigns as the case may be if duly qualified to hold a permit or lease in accordance with the requirements of this order next is section 32 when transfer or sublease of rights and improvements may be allowed a transfer or sublease of the rights or improvements in the area covered by the permit or lease may allowed subject to the following conditions First is that the areas of 25 hectares or less covered by permits or leases, leases shall be approved by the Commissioner of the Fisheries and areas more than 25 hectares shall be approved by the Secretary of Agriculture and National Resources. Next is that the area covered by the permit or lease has upon verifications improvement equivalent to 50% of the required improvements for the entire at 1,000 pesos per hectare. Next is that, that the transfer or sub-lease shall assume not only the rights but also obligations of the transfer or, or sub or relative to the said, to the said prim, permit or lease. Next is that said transfer to sub-lease shall be subject to the laws, laws, rules and regulations now existing and to those that may be hereafter for be promulgated governing fisheries. And last is that any trans any transfer or sublease without the previous approval of the commissioner or by the secretary as the case may be shall be considered null and void deemed sufi sufficient cost for the cancellation of the permit or lease and forfeiture of the improvements and bond in connection therewith in favor of the government. Next is section 33 about illegal proceeding, illegal proceedings and penalties. Administ, admi, section 33 administrative and court action. The secretary, the, the, the secretary, the director, or the or their duly authorized representatives may take such action, either administrative or juridic, juridical, as may be necessary and proper to carry into effect the provision of this order. Section 34 is unlawful use of occupation of public forest lands section 35 is about final provisions section 35 repealing clause fisheries administrative administrative order number 14 its amendments and all others all other orders and regulations contrary and inconsist inconsistent with the provision of its order are here be repealed repelled Section 36. Date of taking effect. The administrative order shall take effect upon its approval. So, sec okay. revised fisheries administrative order is approved. 
ay order number 60 is approved in June 29, 1960 by Jose M. Trinidad. Recommended by Hera, Heracleo R. Montalban, the director of the fisheries on that time. So, that's all about my report. So, thank you for listening and God bless.